Hello there, Gemini. How's it going? Hope you enjoyed your last week. It's time for your weekly read. And uh, I went ahead and pulled um, these cards out here in advance. Um, just wanted to, you know, make sure that I get a really good clean read. And, you know, want, you know, want the very best read that you can get. So anyhow, um, the first card that I pulled here was um, the Nine of Swords. So it looks like maybe you're troubled somehow, Gemini, and, and you may even be having trouble sleeping. You're thinking of something. And I already know what you're thinking about. Um, you're thinking about love. I see this over here. I see this. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let me move this back a little bit and I can pull these cards up so you can see them. So you got you got this one right here. You got the Knight of Cups and then you got the Ace of Cups. So this is a new love, uh, a twin soulmate actually, a twin flame uh, soulmate. And you want uh, equal give and take. Um, this is this is really basically a love read. Um, but, you know, it looks like you're up in your head here about something. It could be this love. It looks like you've got many, many choices. Um, but you could be dealing with a, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Um, so you, I think you're dealing with a water sign. And then when I look over here, I see... I see temperance right next to the star. The star was the next card. And so you've got you've got support coming from you know your spirit guides. The invisible world is also working in your favor. It looks like you've had some uh, some justice. Um, I don't know whether that's uh, karma. I'm kind of thinking that's karma. And then I see this uh, Queen of Cups energy. I'm feeling like, you know, maybe this person is a little older than you. I'm thinking maybe this is a... Because <clears throat> this is a very mature energy here. This is more mature energy. So you could be dealing with somebody maybe a little older than you are. And it looks like maybe you've been watching them. I don't know how. But um, I want to get to... It because the thing that really confuses it, me here is that I see this right here. This is, you know, kind of what you want. You know, you want your happiness. And, you know, this uh, soulmate connection here kind of seems like that it, that is what you want for your happiness but then yet I see this here it looks like you know you turned this person away uh, this person offered his love or her love and you turned that person away um, which so I don't really quite understand but this is good this is change so you know <clears throat> I'm kind of feeling like uh, you're, you're stuck. I want to pull some... Uh, I want And I see the moon here too. I don't know. I, I'm kind of feeling like maybe some of you could be experiencing financial difficulty. I just kind of feel that. Um, I want to pull some, some runes and see what else is up. Soelo, Soelo. So guys, this, sorry, it's kind of blurry. I'm trying to let the camera adjust itself. There we go, Soelo. So this is talking about the sun. This is the sun, and that's very, very beneficial. It, it, it illuminates everything. It lets you see. Maybe, maybe, uh, you're, maybe uh, you've learned something. 
Let's get another one out here. Ewas. Ewas in reverse. So Ewas in reverse is talking about, you know, I'm trying to get it to, there we go. Hopefully it'll just adjust. <laughs> anyway, you can see it. Ewas in reverse is talking about you don't want to travel. It's not a good time to travel. And it's also pointing to isolation. And I see yourself being isolated. I just feel that. I feel that a lot of you guys are isolated for some reason or another. You're isolating yourself. Um, some of you and others are just, you just, you're just isolated. Yeah, huh. Let's get another one here. Thoraz. Thoraz. So, yeah, many of you are dealing with a real tricky situation. And so, um, you know, I'm thinking that you really need to, you, you know, Gemini, I'm really super thinking that you, you're going to really need to use your intuition on this one. All right. This is kind of important. Um, because I know you want a successful outcome, and I do see the star up here, which could indicate a wish come true. But I, when I see it next to uh, temperance, I'm kind of thinking that you know your your spirit guides are um, the invisible world, the world that you can't see, but it's there. Uh, there's people, there's guides there trying trying to uh, help you that are guiding you. So don't fret. Yeah, this is just the only confusing thing. It looks like uh, you refused this person's cup of love. Huh. But I see all this love over here, so I don't really... It's kind of like a confusing read for me there, uh, Gemini. But let's continue. Jera. Jera. Okay, so this is um, this is success. This is uh, success through hard work. So, you know, I'm kind of thinking that Jera is. It could be a union. It, it could it could indicate fertility. It could indicate some sort of a relationship as well. You know, I, I just I see relationship all over this reading. I mean. The ace of the ace of cups, the knight of cups, um, and then I see Jera there. That could be uh, that could be you know. This could be uh, fertility, yeah. And it also could mean that if you've been like struggling with something, uh, you know there's a good chance you're going to break through it. Now, this is in kind of like the advice column. So, so basically, it, it's saying not to rest. It's, it's basically, it's saying, because when I see, when I see this over here, and I see this, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, you need to, Get out of this isolation and, and go for it, Gemini. You just you got you gotta you gotta get up and move and you gotta get things going. There's just no question. Let's see what else is going on here. La goose, la goose. So la goose is a uh, is a water rune. And like I said, you could be dealing with a water sign. Um, but most importantly, Lagoose is um, it's your intuition. So you need to really rely on your intuition here, Gemini. All right? All right. So that's what I see anyway. Let's go ahead and pull an Oracle card and see what else. Because the Oracle cards kind of make it better.
Mm, let me see here. All right. The Winter's Dream gestation period. So this kind of like means that, you know, right now it's a gestation period. You're creating something or you're trying to start something. And it's also saying to, you know, be careful what you put into your head and get yourself out of isolation, guys. Get, get to moving. This is, I mean, this is important. I really think because, uh, you know, if you want positive results, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to get up and move. I mean, I see this love here, you know, so go for it, Gemini. Take a chance and see what happens. All right, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now.